So how many times has this happened to you? You shoot a video on your phone, you import it into your computer, only to realize it's been recorded sideways or upside down. How frustrating is that, right? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Well, if you're on an Apple device, you've got iMovie and you're good to go. But if you're a Windows guy like me, we're kind of out of luck or we've been out of luck for some time. Windows used to have a, an app called the Windows Movie Maker and that would allow me to rotate these videos, but that's no longer available for download. In fact, if you do see Windows Movie Maker on one of those free software download sites, be really careful. It very well could be full of malware. But if you're running Windows 10, we're in luck. Microsoft recently updated their Photos app to include video editing capability, and it makes rotating a video extremely easy. Let's check it out. Go to your Start menu and simply type in Video Editor, and you should see it show up in your list. And we'll choose Video Editor. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna launch your Photos app, but on the Video Projects tab. So you can also get here by going to Photos first and then clicking on Video Projects. Either way, you should end up with a screen like this. And we're simply gonna start a new project and rotate our video. Now this is a really cool program. It actually allows me to do a lot of other things with videos. Like if I have a bunch of videos that I wanna to stitch together and make one long video, it'll allow me to do that. We create these projects and we can work with them but we can do the same thing with a single video. We can create a project and simply rotate the video. All right, so you're gonna start by creating a new project. So we're gonna click on this new project uh, or new video project button. And it's gonna open up this new window. And this is where we're gonna import our video that we wanna work with. Now you can either drag and drop your video from say File Explorer into the screen, or we can browse to, to and uh, pick the video we're trying to rotate. First, we're gonna give it a, a name. I'm gonna call mine Puppies. I have a video that we recorded of my mom's puppies and it's sideways, so we'll click OK. Next, I need to go find that video. So I'm gonna click Add. I'm gonna choose From This PC. And in the Browse dialog box, I'm gonna browse and find the video that I wanna work with and select Open. That's gonna bring that video into the application. You'll see it show up there in that upper left-hand corner. Now, if I had more videos to work with, I could simply add them. I could keep clicking add to add more videos. But this is the only one I need because we're simply going to rotate this video. Once you get your video added to the library, we need to add it to the storyboard down along the bottom of our screen here. This is where we can start stitching videos together and other cool stuff, including rotating our video. So the easiest way to do that is just to drag, click and hold, and drag that video from the library onto that first frame into the storyboard and let go. It'll drop that video in place and then give it a minute and over here on the right hand side, you'll see it's building a preview of my video. There's the video and notice it's rotated incorrectly. So we wanna fix that. Once you get this added, it's simply a matter of clicking the rotate button. Over here on the right hand side, right above the storyboard, you'll see this button that has a little circle with kind of an arrow wrapping around it, all right? That is my rotate button. And all I need to do is click that button until I get the video to the right orientation. So I'm simply gonna click, and you'll see the preview rotates it around. Now if it was upside down, you simply keep clicking until you get it rotated the correct way. Now once you've got it rotated the right way, the next thing we wanna do is take a look at the size. Notice it's, it's very small there. Um, didn't really stretch the video out like I was hoping it would. That's okay, we can fix that as well while we're in here. Right next to that rotate button is this resize button, right there. And it's got two options that we can use. When I click on that, you'll see I get the option to either remove black bars or shrink to fit. And it's currently set to shrink to fit. So what I would suggest is try both options and see which one makes the video look the best. Notice as soon as I click that remove black bars, it stretches the video out nicely, everything looks good. Again, try both options, see which one works with your particular video. Once you've got the video rotated and sized correctly, the only thing that's left to do is save it in this new format. Up at the top right-hand corner, we're going to see an option to finish video. That's all we have to do. That's going to start the export process. So let's click finish video. You'll get a choice of quality 
most likely you're going to leave that on the recommended one, that high 1080p, get the best quality that way. But if you were going to put this on a website or email it to somebody and it was a longer video, you might try one of those lower resolutions. The, the quality won't be as good, but the file size would be smaller. So if you're running into a file size limitation when you're trying to email this as an attachment or something like that, try one of those other options. And you can even export this out multiple times, once in high and once in low. Now you've got a, a small file version as well as a full high quality version. So pick the quality you want and then simply click the export button. That should open up a little window where I can give this a name and choose where I want to save this file. Notice it pulled the name from my project. You can see it's named puppies there already. Uh, if you wanted to change that, you could. If you wanted to change location, you can simply browse and then click export, and that's going to start the process. Now, depending on how long or how large your video is, could determine will determine how long this process will take. Shouldn't take too terribly long. There we go. We're finished, and we now have our video rotated in the proper orientation. I can go back and watch my mother's puppies crawling around her pet. All right, so there I'm going to close that out. And that was a quick look at, at how easy it is now to rotate your videos in Windows 10. Check out the playlist for more Windows 10 how-to videos, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.